In an age where the urgency of addressing climate change compels countries worldwide to adopt sustainable energy solutions, Iceland presents a unique and inspiring case study. At present, nearly 100% of the electricity consumed in this nation of close to 400,000 people is derived from renewable sources. Moreover, an impressive 9 out of every 10 homes are directly heated using geothermal energy. This remarkable transformation from fossil fuels in Iceland may serve as a model for other countries seeking to elevate their reliance on renewable energy sources. Iceland, often referred to as the land of fire and ice, owes its renewable energy advantage to its distinctive geological and geographical characteristics. Nestled on the mid-Atlantic ridge between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, Iceland boasts an active volcanic zone that fuels its geothermal systems. Additionally, its glaciers, covering 11% of the country, contribute to its hydropower resources through seasonal meltwater that feeds glacial rivers. Furthermore, Iceland has vast untapped wind power potential. Today, Iceland's economy, spanning from residential heating and electricity provision to energy-intensive industries, is predominantly powered by clean energy harnessed from hydro and geothermal sources. The sole exception remains the reliance on fossil fuels for transportation. Beyond electricity and district heating, geothermal energy in Iceland finds multifaceted applications. It is widely employed for snow melting on sidewalks, heating swimming pools, supporting fish farming, greenhouse cultivation, food processing, and even cosmetics production, exemplified by the famous geothermal spa, the Blue Lagoon. While Iceland now stands as a beacon of a modern economy powered by renewable energy, this transformation was not always the case. For centuries, the utilization of geothermal resources was limited to bathing and washing, and hydropower development only began in the 20th century with modest power generation. Remarkably, until the early 1970s, a significant portion of Iceland's energy consumption relied on imported fossil fuels. However, this small nation's journey towards renewables was not primarily driven by climate change concerns. Rather, it was motivated by the vulnerability to oil price fluctuations due to global energy market crises, given Iceland's remote Arctic Circle location. The initial steps towards Iceland's renewable energy transformation, both in geothermal and hydropower, were taken by local entrepreneurs. In the early 20th century, a resourceful farmer devised a primitive geothermal heating system for his farm, utilizing hot water seeping from the ground. Subsequently, municipalities built upon this success, leading to systematic exploration of geothermal resources. The adoption of drilling technology, borrowed from the oil industry, enabled deeper drilling for hotter water, expanding its heating capacity. Larger projects followed suit with the establishment of commercial-scale geothermal district heating systems. Similarly, early hydro projects were initiated by diligent farmers to provide electricity for their farmhouses, sometimes in cooperative efforts. In 1950, Iceland witnessed the construction of 530 small hydropower plants, creating scattered independent power systems across the country. To further incentivize geothermal energy utilization, the Icelandic government established a geothermal drilling mitigation fund in the late 1960s. This fund provided financial support for geothermal research and test drilling, while mitigating costs for unsuccessful projects. The legal framework was also designed to encourage households to connect to the new geothermal district heating network instead of relying on fossil fuels. Concurrently, Iceland embarked on large-scale hydropower development, attracting international industrial energy users. The goal was to attract new industries to diversify the economy, generate employment, and establish a nationwide power grid. The confluence of these factors shaped Iceland into the nation it is today. While Iceland's journey represents a remarkable shift within a relatively short time frame, it raises the question of whether Iceland's proximity to renewable resources makes it an exceptional case that is challenging to replicate. In reality, a country's energy mix and consumption patterns are influenced by a complex interplay of factors, including cost, resource availability, production efficiency, and political considerations. Access to renewable resources, whether wind, solar, geothermal, or hydro, can promote their use, but resource availability alone does not guarantee a seamless transition to green energy. Iceland's success was driven by a unique combination of factors, notably the cohesion between municipalities, government, and the public in exploring and harnessing local green resources, primarily motivated by energy cost and security. However, it's essential to acknowledge that Iceland's circumstances were distinctive. In the 1970s, Iceland was emerging from centuries of poverty and foreign rule, lacked essential infrastructure and knowledge about its resource potential, and had limited experience in undertaking significant energy projects. In fact, until the 1970s, the United Nations Development Program classified Iceland as a developing nation, 
Additionally, the country's sparse population made developing an interconnected energy grid financially challenging. These challenges mirror those encountered by many countries today as they strive for a sustainable energy path. Nepal, for example, faces investment and power system challenges in tapping into its untapped hydropower resources. In East Africa and elsewhere, the lack of technical expertise hinders the evaluation and utilization of vast geothermal resources. While these countries' circumstances differ from Iceland's, many lessons from Iceland's experience can be extrapolated and applied. The core of Iceland's experience yields valuable advice for current and future leaders in renewable energy implementation. 1. Foster cohesion and collaboration among municipalities, government, and the public from the early stages of transition, building trust and a solution-oriented mindset. 2. Empower local communities and engage the public, drawing inspiration from innovative entrepreneurs to promote the adoption of renewable energy concepts. 3. Establish a favorable legal and regulatory framework backed by government incentives and support to expedite developments. Initiatives like Iceland's Drilling Mitigation Fund can mitigate risks for municipalities undertaking geothermal projects. 4. Embrace long-term planning for renewable energy implementation, including stakeholder-inclusive master plans for future developments, considering the balance between energy projects and nature preservation. 5. Showcase success at every step, engage in the public in a transition they understand and support. Municipalities with steady access to geothermal hot water in Iceland served as powerful role models for others. 6. Utilize visual evidence of positive change, such as before and after photos of improved air quality due to geothermal energy adoption, to engage and inspire the public and policymakers. Iceland's contribution to the world extends beyond its domestic success story. The country has been actively sharing its knowledge and expertise in geothermal development for decades. Over 1,000 experts from around the world have received geothermal training in Iceland since 1979. Through United Nations geothermal training programs and academic institutions like the Iceland School of Energy at Reykjavik University, the Icelandic energy industry has engaged in geothermal projects in more than 50 countries, including the construction of the world's largest geothermal district heating system in China, benefiting over 1 million customers. An intriguing aspect of the future of geothermal energy is that recent volcanic activity is not a prerequisite for successful direct utilization. Technological innovations now enable the development of widely available low-temperature geothermal zones for space heating and cooling. For instance, one of Europe's largest geothermal district heating systems is in Paris. Approximately 25% of Europe's population resides in areas suitable for geothermal district heating. Iceland's expertise is invaluable in exploring the feasibility and implementation of such opportunities worldwide. While Iceland's geothermal and hydropower focus made sense for its unique transition, the choice of renewable resources and the approach to harnessing them will vary depending on local conditions in other countries. Each nation's energy transition will be unique, tailored to its specific circumstances. Iceland's success story serves as an inspiration and a source of important lessons for any country embarking on a similar transformation. Furthermore, Iceland's journey underscores that the opportunity for a green transition is not exclusive to wealthy developed nations. It may even be more manageable in regions where power systems are not yet fully established and stakeholders are more open to change. The encouraging news is that the world is better prepared than ever to undertake the necessary energy transition. Evolving technologies and improved funding mechanisms are increasingly accessible. Collaboration and the sharing of expertise across borders have become easier and more immediate. Combining these factors with lessons learned from Iceland and other experiences will prove instrumental in achieving a more sustainable path for countries worldwide. Countries worldwide, irrespective of their economic status, will require strong leadership at all levels to navigate the energy transition ahead. These leaders will need meaningful success stories to inspire action. Iceland is committed to sharing its knowledge and experience, serving as a model while continuously learning and contributing to our shared sustainable future.